Welcome to Goa 365's English News Bulletin. I'm Maithili and these are the headlines. The Chief Minister says the government all set to hold Panchayat elections tomorrow. Clarifies that delay in election dates was due to reservations and the endeavour of the government to give justice to all. Roads, electricity, infra in Power Minister's Madkai constituency leave much to be desired. Flood seen on many roads. Goa will get gloomy weather over the weekend as Med Department predicts very heavy rainfall well into the coming week. And now for the news in detail. Following the announcement of dates for the Panchayat elections, Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Sawan says that the government was fully prepared to hold the Panchayat elections tomorrow. Efforts to ensure proper reservations for OBCs and others have been cited as the main reason behind the delay in holding elections. Here are the details. The court had ordered the government to complete the election process by August 15th, after the government had asked to hold the election sometime in September. The chief minister and the party state president have denied the claim, saying that even if the panchayat elections are held tomorrow, the government is ready. Listen. <laughs> पंचायत इलेक्शन डिक्लेयर करता अस्ताना एक्चुअली कोर्टालोच करे मतलब हमका रिजर्वेशंस कर पाचे ऐसे नहीं बोलों अमे ये आप कोर्टा करे थोड़ा सा टाइम बनने लो कारण सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने जन्ना ट्रिपल टेस्ट जोन कम का कोई इलेक्शंस के हम बटने जन्ना ट्रिपल टेस्ट जोपा खाते इट इज़ नॉट ओनली द डायरेक्टर � he is an eligible only director of panchayat triple test young shakana the triple test ke the obc commissioner sarkile organizations which is a commission to the obc commission he kar pak shakta and teka thoda sa time lai you know je samajatya magasthala ghataka che khusurut anyay lavani obc karta astana ja obc samajat urje pot jati asat tankai representation panchayat ni mel pak jay je tado hetu clear asa एखाद्या वेळी खाजगी समाज असताना किंवा दुसरा समाज असताना जो ओबीसी असा त्यांना रिप्रेझेंटेशन मिळेल म्हणून ते रिझर्वेशन असले म्हणजे तिथून एकूणच आणि जो पड जाती असा Here is what the BJP state president Sadanan Chetanawde had to say on the court's order for early elections High court आजे डिसिजन रेतर तर वेगवेगळे प्रतिक्रिया आम्ही ऐकतात आम्ही वेगवेगळे प्रसार माध्यमांवर आम्ही पळेल्या काही तर लोकांनी लेख छापून आणलेले असा कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी निवडणुकीत बिल्या आणि त्याला लोक निवडणूक पुढे व्हरपाचा प्रयत्न केला पण कोर्टान त्यांना त्यांना पुढे व्हरपा देऊ नये अशा तऱ्हेचे वेगवेगळी प्रतिक्रिया आम्ही पळेतात समाज वेगवेगळ्या प्रेसा भीतर पण वस्तुस्थिती जी असा भारतीय जनता पार्टी खंचात निवडणुकीत बिना प्रत्येक निवडणूक आम्ही फेस करतात आणि लोक आमका समर्थन देतात पार्टीच्या कार्यकर्ते काम करतात आणि म्हणून तर भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्रत्येक निवडणुकीत यश मिळत गेले असा मागी ती लोकसभा विधानसभा मुनसिपालिटी रोजारियो फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी जस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सिंस बिकमिंग द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एकनाथ शिंदे लेड गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल सेट टू ब्रिंग बैक द मेट्रो कार शेड प्रपोज एट आर ए शिंदे लेफ्ट फॉर मुंबई टूडे आफ्टर मीटिंग विद रिबेल एम एल एज एट अ गोवा होटेल He said that they are slated to leave for Mumbai tomorrow. Here's more. Hours after he was sworn in, Shinde directed the Advocate General that the metro car shed be built in Mumbai's Ari colony itself, a key decision that was held back by ex-Chief Minister Uddhav Thackeray. Environmentalists in Maharashtra are now once again resisting the new move after having protested to save the forest several years ago. Shinde, who came to Goa soon after being sworn in, left for mumbai today evening citing that several important issues back home have to be resolved such as farmers issues disaster relief as red alerts at several places across the state have been issued and other key meetings listen motya praman aur paus hai today disaster management ji ka baitak hai jya dikari mein baitak kela jato hai karan shewti 
मुंबई मधे कुछ परिस्थिति अतिवृष्टि लोक नागरिक नुकसान हो स्वतः बैठक घतो जाऊन बरबर परवा दिवसी अधिवेशन तीन आ चार अधिवेशन कॉल के लिए गवर्नर साहबानी अपने सगैंक महत है पूछ की जी का कारवाई है ती तो दोनों दिवस मधे हो आज स्वर्गीय वसंतराव नाईक यांची जयंती आहे तो कृषी दिन म्हणून आपण साजरा करतो आणि त्यासाठी देखील या राज्यातला बळीराजा जो आहे शेतकरी आहे तो कुठल्याही परिस्थितीमध्ये संकटात येऊ नये म्हणून आम्ही मोठ्या प्रमाणावर त्यांच्यासाठी चांगले निर्णय देखील घेतोय शेतकऱ्यांची आत्महत्या होऊ नये त्यासाठी देखील आपण मार्ग काढतोय शेती हमी भाला शेती हमी भाव मिला पाजे चांगला भाव मिला पाजे ये सरकार कटिबद्ध है श्याम चारी नंबर चौवार ऑफ गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फ्रॉम पैंजन विल टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे विथ अस वेलकम बैक Goyan Korsonaka an activist against the double tracking project submitted a copy of people's stop work order to the general manager rail vikas nigam limited at margaon they charge that the chief minister has been ignoring their request for a stop work despite having promised that he would do it 12 days back here's more on this the double tracking project in the state has been facing severe backlash by goans abhijit prabhu desai said He had met the chief minister 12 days ago. He had also met the governor and 36 MLAs and they had all promised to stop the double track work. However, Abhijit alleged that the chief minister had still not issued the stop work order and work was going on. He also said that they have been trying to contact the chief minister again on the issue. Listen. Fatle uh, aitara ek mala ek 12 days fatti ami chief minister a mele ताजे पैली गवर्नर छत्तीस एम एल ए सग मेले आगानी आश्वासन दिल कि डबल ट्रैकिंग काम बंद करते जेना सी एम आक मेले आयतारा भारत दीस फाटी सी एम आन क्लियरली संगले कि आप ऑर्डर काटा तुम्हें काम करता काम बंद करता आता इतने दीस जाए सी एम आन ऑर्डर काड़ूक ना काम जोरान चालू आसा दाबोली सैडी आ काले कु सैडी आ सी एम कॉन्टेक्टान जाना कित ट्राय के लिए फोन लगना कहीं लगना असता कि हम गोई सरकार आज ये कोल कंपनीजान किडनेप कर सरकार आता अस्तित्व ना गोई सरकार मिसींग आ परिस्थिति सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट मिनिस्टर योन संगता कि कोल जाए डबल ट्रैकिंग जाए लोक सपोर्ट कर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंटा की या कोल कंपनीजान किडनेप के या परिस्थिति सगलो गोई लोग मुखार सरला क्या ये गवर्नन्स ये कहीं उना मटक आता लोग स्वता जाऊन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल सॉवरिटी लोक जी स्वराज आता तो आमी लोक सगले मेल आज एक्सिक्यूट करता आमी आज रेलवे आर वी एन एलाक आनी साउथ वेस्टर्न रेलवेजाक रेजिस्टर्ड पोस्टान धटले स्टॉप वर्क ऑर्डर काड़ा हि स्टॉप वर्क ऑर्डर लोक अपने हाथी गवर्नन्स घेन कायद्या प्रमाण कशी स्टॉप वर्क ऑर्डर काड़ूक जाए आसली तीन काड़ा आनी आज आर वी एन एलाक हंगा इन्वर्ट के एसडब्ल्यूआरक धटले ये प्रमाण तानी कु टू वास्को सगले काम बंद दौरूक जाए आनी स्टॉप वर्क ऑर्डरीन सगली कारण कायदेर मानलिया आनीक अपेक्षा आता कि आज ये रेलवे ऑथॉरिटी अपने जे ब्रिटिश कॉलोनियल जे हिस्ट्री आता विसर भारतीय डेमोक्रेसी रिस्पेक्ट करून ही स्टॉप वर्क ऑर्डर इमिजिएटली इम्प्लिमेंट करते संदीप तुएकर फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फ्रॉम मारगव Goa being the smallest state is very famous for its scenic beauty and a favored holiday destination but the state is still lacking in infrastructure the pathetic conditions of the roads all over the state are an example one such example is the roads in Malwada Madke area which is flooded at the first sign of rains who should be held responsible for this situation here are the details In Madurai constituency the roads are flooded due to blocked cutters 
MLAs have been promising development in their particular constituency during election time. But for the past six years, this development has never been seen on the streets. Furious locals have questioned the local MLA on the current situation. Listen. for last six years, this cutters get flooded during the monsoon. We had complained to Panchayat, but of no use. They say adding that street lights are also not working. Electricity poles are bent in the area and they can fall down on the road anytime. Ironically, this is the constituency of the present power minister. Krishna Naik for Goa 365 from Ponda. The TMC today lashed out at the BJP government over Chief Minister Pramod Savan's statement saying that all documents from the old assembly house had been destroyed and that officials would be sent to Portugal if needed to recover the same. When all documents are still safely present in the state. Here's more on this. A couple of days back, Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savan had said that important government documents were thrown in the Mandavi River while being taken from Adilsha Palace in Panjim to the new Secretariat in Porvorim. However, the Secretary and Speaker later clarified that the documents were in fact safe and sound. 
How then could the chief minister have made such an irresponsible statement? Questioned TMC spokesperson Trajan De Mello. Legislative and sovereign documents, speeches, everything, the records while shifting from Adil Shah to Purvari has been destroyed or lost. Now this is a very, very, very serious statement made by a most responsible head of the state in a most irresponsible manner. First of all, the secretary of the legislature, Ms. Namrata Ulma, has come on record to say all records are intact. Today, I have read somewhere, the present speaker has also made the same statement that all these are intact. And CM is remained silent. Why? Question is, the, moreover, this CM was the ex-speaker before he could take over the chief minister's post. So what were you doing there? <coughs> Why at that time did you not make this disclosure? What are your dubious intentions? Are you trying to create and test waters to destroy everything? Until today, you don't make any 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 statement. And if you have been wrongly informed, the officer has action Suspend one to give such a such a blatant wrong information to the chief minister of Goa, or he has got ulterior motives. Ani mohile anto, thiji dadas asa. Sangpak, he army officer and Purtuvada that tell to get 400 years old documents to know the state of Goa. Panna Sad was such a document to Java Kopar Nan to Abiman is the Purtugal Varade, he thinks of a document as the river. The TMC also lashed out at the BJP government over the infrastructure and failure to organize the national games. More than rupees 400 crore has been spent in the name of national games, they alleged. They questioned as to into whose pockets the commission had gone. Listen to Trinamul spokesperson Avita Bandodkar. The last year, postponed, postponed, carried out silly. The national games, Goyan, Zauchina, has so much pain. Two thousand eight, when the Congress government, the government silly Goyan, then now he proposed the national games, Goyan, for. And in two thousand eight, the last year, national games, such an organization, was silly. Two thousand eight, the upran. Land acquisition जाले, जमीन acquire के लिए जब जब नौ लाख चौबो एक square meter जमीन acquire जाली धार गड़ांगा sports city कर पाखतीर जी जागा आमी national games अच्छे sports city बन पाखतीर के तो लिए acquire के लिए जागा तीस जागा आज आयुष अच्छे medical college cricket अच्छे stadium रविंद्र भवन water supply fire station अनि electricity department अच्छे building थे ये ता अता मजो प्रश्न बीजेपी सरकार आ कि यह जागो जो स्पोर्ट सिटी जो आसा तो जागो दूसरे कामा का दिल किरण वापर लो गलो ऐसे तो नहीं रिप्लाई कर पाजी गरज आसा माका माहिती में आया त्या प्रमाणे जब जब चार शे जब वोइर कोटी फंड सेंक्शन जालो नेशनल गेम्स आचे नावा सकेल आता वो फंड एक्चुअली कितना यूटिलाइज जालो आणि कितनी परसेंटेज कोणाच स्पोर्ट्स ऑथरिटी ना चिल्ले थोड़ा रिटायर जाले तेनी ही जबाबदारी किरिया का अपने शोल्डर अचेर घियों थी काम पूरा ही केले ना ये सोधुन काट पाजी गरज ऐसा अन्य हाँ मारता आज पंचीस वर्ष जो मनीष गुरुदत्त तब भक्ता जो संतालो आपुन नेशनल गेम गोयन हट ले आपुन नेशनल गेम गोयन कुरुंदा � William Rodericks for Goa 365 from Panjim. We'll take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. For some weather news, gloomy weather will continue over the weekend with very heavy rainfall forecast for the state. As for the Med Department's latest update, Goa will be seeing heavy showers well into the coming week. Locals stepping out should exercise necessary precautions and carry rainwear along. Here's more. 
Panjim has seen some of its wettest days this season, with the capital city recording a staggering 11 cm of rain yesterday. While all 13 centres, save for Sangha, recorded above 5 cm of rain, Panjim received the highest amount. Sangha saw the lowest of 1 cm rainfall. On account of incessant rains, the maximum at 25 degrees Celsius was about 4 degrees Celsius below the normal. Expect highs of 30 degrees Celsius today, lows to touch 24 degrees Celsius. On account of turbulent weather at sea, fishermen along the Konkan coast have been warned to avoid venturing out until the 4th of July. Heavy rainfall forecast for the weekend. Very heavy showers likely on 4th, 5th. Maximum and minimum temperatures today, 30 degrees Celsius and 24 degrees Celsius respectively. Fisherman warning in place until the 4th. Bureau report, Goa 365 with inputs from IMD. With that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Take care, stay safe and keep watching Goa 365.